welcome to profit data today i'm just going to show you how exactly i'm going to talk about this uh, rate of change technical indicators so basically we use this uh, technical indicators is in algo trading also so i'm just going to implement this in uh, python uh, programming stuff okay so just uh, you know in this things basically i just want to say that rate of change is like uh, if Uh, some of days which we include uh, so if we are taking you know there will be a, a line zero change line okay so we gonna accept that line and uh, we will gonna you know uh, trace for like five days two days uh, any of uh, like we can uh, you know uh, can anal analyze the stocks particular stock or say any kind of stocks uh, with the help of this by using in a whether in a short term or in a long term we can use this purpose say if it is like a rate of change is falling so there will be a sell and if rate of change is increasing then there will be a buy so as you can see in this graph there is a rate of change values and i have did this okay so let check me this i have just took uh, n equals 5 5 days so exactly this is the graph which i just uh, came into picture i just took nifty uh, nsc price chart price chart okay so exactly as you can see you know uh, there are ups and downs as if as we can see the rate of change is there so you know there is a, a fall below this uh, zero of line so we can sell and above buy okay and the stop we go on, it is and rise and then so how uh, this is how particularly it works so the you know as i want to uh, say in this uh, basic you know we are you know uh, taking the most recent price we are taking close in this factor we are considering the close price so at the at the you know at the market what the last price has been traded so we are taking the recent price and and the price in days ago so if we if we want to consider this five days uh, you know analysis or say two days analysis so we gonna take as a n days so if we are like you know taking like you know some you know three you know there are basically in a year you know we can take like six months uh six months uh, divide can six months and another six months so we can analyze this uh, thing and uh, before like you know 12 days and 12 days so we can divide this stuff in n days and we can predict uh this stuff Uh, so here we are uh, you know as i said in a short term and long term we are doing this okay so we can do this stuff so you know uh, say uh, as i said already about this stuff so estimation is how i'm going to do say i am taking this uh, close price of today and close price of 10 days ago and then exactly uh, i'm dealing with the differences with like you know dealing with the Close price end days ago. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna just, uh, gonna do this implement on this uh, Python code. Okay, with uh, IDE I'm gonna use IDE. So as I as I can see, I've used pandas for you know uh, for reading this CSV files and this uh, matplotlib. Okay, so I'm exactly uh, you know extracting the data from sources of Yahoo. and i am taking the symbol uh, this one so i am putting the frame and uh, basically i am taking this close uh, differences of this uh, you know and i am using this uh, shift also say purpose of uh, shift is of to uh, uh, you know uh, take those uh, series take those series of a close uh, those datas and then basically i am considering this uh, join function also so you know uh, to you know compute this thing so as i can say i am using this uh, you know diff function to compute and uh, we consider curl price close and then we differentiate with n days in which we want to consider it in prior for prediction which we use to fetch with the help of shift functions shift function so we are actually fetching those cn days of data with the help of this uh, shift functions uh, and we are using this uh, you know join function for the computation for the series of uh, data frame which we want 
okay so we are going to this so just i'm gonna give a quick analysis here so how i'm gonna do here so i am importing this library modules then i'm gonna compute this stuff okay so and next exactly i'm gonna just read this uh, symbols with this uh, yahoo and then exactly how many days i want and i will compute here and then finally i represent them in a chart how i am using this stuff and uh, doing uh, doing this one and i'm just uh, at the end i just need to show that one okay so i i already coded this stuff so i'm just gonna show you how exactly it works okay so let let me just uh, go through this one so i've just done this one so i just just run and show you how exactly this works yeah okay so as you can see this is uh roc values and this is of my price chart okay so falling roc sell rising roc buy that's it okay simple so as if you can see and i have uh, taken for few days so i just as you can see you know i have about 9000 uh, level trading nifty prices so from this you can see and uh, yeah let's uh that's it here uh let's uh, you know code this stuff how exactly i have did this so uh, let's let's uh code this stuff once again okay i'm just gonna show you how exactly i have uh you know done this stuff so i'm just gonna close here and i'm gonna start with a fresh a new one okay so i'm just here i will import pandas so i'm just uh, i just go with the rough one and then i'm just uh, you know show you how you exactly can be done okay so we will just go with the rough import pandas as pd then import pandas data reader dot data as web then i'm gonna import matplotlib dot py plot as pld that's it and then i'm gonna define our OC which is of like data and n okay and then I'm gonna say say I'm gonna just uh, go for the close uh, differences okay so prior I'm gonna do this uh, thing so I'm just taking uh, n equals uh, you know I'm just taking the differences because here I am trying to make uh, the current price close and the previous close so I'm doing that one and then uh, I'm gonna take uh, the shift function so basic you know that for shift is the purpose of uh, uh, loading this data you know taking this n days of data so basically i'm considering that one so and then at the end i want this data to be you know compute so i'm gonna just take roc equals pd dot as you know series i'm taking here is series also for this uh, uh, array of elements and uh, array of elements if i am talking uh, taking here say so i am just uh, you know uh, dividing those stuff also say i have done differences then i am gonna divide and then i am gonna give a name also which is of rate of change okay so of change so here it's done and the uh, data and then data join I need rate of change 
and then particularly I want uh, my data from uh, you know Yahoo so I will say darling mistake done here and then run take this uh, as of and days and then shift off and days and done here then run mistake Okay, success. So as you can see, uh, this is a rate of change. Uh, you know, short term. As you can see the values. Okay, so it is working. It is working perfect here. So we have done the computation part. After all, so this is basic rate of change which I can see. There is a flow in a. You know, if it is like you know uh, falling, so it has been consecutive days for five days. Like it has been gone for the fall consecutive days and rise then rate of change wherever like you know rising falling as i already told you uh, okay uh, it's uh, done here to change everything done so let's uh, next is what we have to do is we have to represent them in the graph in the chart okay so let's uh, get started